Ah, yes. Nothing like sleeping under the, the skies of Skyrim. My little rock outcrop here. Got my bow by my side, my backpack and boots there. Although it is a very dark and gloomy morning, I should probably get up now. I've been sleeping for a while. Actually, how hungry am I? Because I've been sleeping for hours. I am currently very hungry, very thirsty, but I am not tired. And I slept for so long, my campfire has burnt out completely. It's nothing but embers. Look at that. Time we chop some more firewood, I think. Do you know, we were just so tired after last episode running through the forest, hunting all the deer, that uh, that we needed to sleep for a while. But, you know, we're not tired anymore. But I believe I need to get some more firewood. Let me see if I can... Yeah, I can't add any more logs because I haven't got enough. So, I think we should eat some food and then do some log cutting. So I am currently very hungry, very thirsty, not tired. So before I continue, my friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim the Hunter. If you like what you see, feel free to leave a like, and if you do want to see more, consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot, you know, if you've been liking what you've been watching, a subscribe and a like goes a long way. But without further ado, we should continue, we should start by filling our empty stomachs, because right now... We are currently very hungry and very thirsty, but we don't, we don't really have much cooked. We've got some seared sort of fish, some salmon, so we should just eat those because we, uh, we stole those anyway from the bandits. And it's not quite enough, so I think I'm going to have to have some bread with that because the bread is quite heavy and will fill us up very nicely. Could have a bit more. In that case, I'll have another bit of bread and then just drink my water skin fully. And I think I need another sip of water. There we are. There's us eating our bread. Very nice. It is a very dark and gloomy morning. It's about 7 a.m. in Skyrim. It's hoping for nice weather, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. Beggars can't be choosers. We've got a long day of hunting and gathering ahead of us. So, I say we split some logs then and get the fire going again. I am currently sated and still slightly thirsty, though, but I'll... I'll have another swig later. I'll find a stream or something to refill my water skins as well. But for now, we need to cut some logs. So let's harvest wood. And harvest firewood. Six pieces. We should have enough now. Because I think we have some spare pieces from the last fire we made. So that should be plenty. There we are. Add firewood. Six. Brilliant. Nice. Our stew is... There we are. The stew came back. And... Uh, oh, look. The weather's changing now. It's coming more in our favor. It's uh, getting a bit brighter. Right, I say we cook up some of the raw food we have then, because we've got a lot of raw meat that we can't eat raw, because we will get sick if we start eating raw meat, because we have got realistic needs on, so... I'm going to make some baked potatoes. Let's make some charred meat, medium meal. Have I got any large, like, heavy meals? Like, large meals? Salted meats. Taste very salty, increase first. That's only a medium meal as well. Whereas the charred meat is also... Oh, it does increase thirst, though, as well. Do you know what? Let's make some charred meat straight up. Let's make three pieces of charred meat. Or let's do two, actually, because they make three a piece. And I think we'll also do a rabbit mushroom stew to aid our stamina recovery. Make a couple of those. We've got plenty of salt on us. Do you know what? Let's make some snowberry tea, because that will help us when we get too cold and we haven't got a fire nearby. Very nice. We've been picking many snowberries in our travels. We basically pick anything we, we come across. Right, so my friends, the plan for today is to do some hunting in the plains of Whiterun and also some gathering, especially some tundra cotton, and then we can head to Winterhold, oh sorry, Whiterun, and sell our, our goods that we've hunted and gathered. So, I think we should just uh, pick up the, the, the camp, I think. So if we pack up, there we are. Pack up our, our cooking pot. And I guess we're going to have to pack up the fire as well. Do you know what? Let's leave the fire there because it's, you know, in a decent place. We can always come back to it and put some more logs on there. So we'll leave that burning for now. And head on down then. Let's head on down. I'm expecting to find... Oh, there's already game here. Very nice. Let's just hunt these dudes. Or actually, shall we wait until we head down to the plains and actually pick Tundra Cotton first? I think maybe we should head down here. There's going to be plenty more deer out on this plains area. And I want to get some Tundra Cotton as well. Oh, everything's kind of clipping in. I've got a lot of mods around the Whiterun area. Uh, including the, the kind of extended town city. And uh, I've got many watchtowers and things installed. It's kind of all clipping in. All rendering in at once. Oh, look, who's this? Some kind of vampire on the road. I don't really don't want anything to do with you. And oh look, let's power for these mountain flowers. Why not? But Tundra Cotton should be a white looking flower. So that's a mountain flower. 
I believe the tundra cotton should be along. Oh, look, I hear some here. Yes, tundra cotton, that's what we want. We want to pick plenty of that. That's a good material that will help us basically build many things. And we hear some more. They seem to sprout like weeds across the roads. So maybe we should follow the road for a while. Oh, look, there's some more deer over there. Oh, who are these fellows? Hmm. Merchant wench. Let's leave these yeah. fellows alone. Yeah, a dark elf what wench and a bodyguard. Oh, look, there's some elk over there. Or some deer. I say we uh, we track these guys now that we've found some tundra cotton. Joe, let's get this guy. I'm sorry, friend. That's a hit. One more. Come on. Well placed shot. Uh oh, I think a saber cat's gonna attack it. Uh oh. Joe, let's track. Let's give chase to that deer. We can't let it get away. I lost that deer last episode, and I'm not gonna lose another one. Oh, look, there's some more tundra cotton. Very useful. Although I must not lose track of the deer. Is he this one here? There he is. I lost the last two in the last episode because I was picking mushrooms. Oh, no. I just scared him further. Oh, no. He's going to the giant's camp. That's not good. Please don't run to the giant's camp. I can't give chase there. I will die. Oh, no. He is. He's going right to the giant's camp. Uh, oh, I think he just... Oh, I think it... Oh, okay. He nearly got killed by a mammoth. Now the mammoths are chasing him. The mammoths are chasing the deer that I'm hunting. Oh, no. <laughs> Do I hunt a mammoth this episode? I think that's too early to hunt a mammoth, right? I think... Oh, look. Where is he going? I'm tracking this fellow across the plains. He's too fast for me as well. Oh, a bandit has seen him. Oh, my God. He's leading me to bandits. I don't want to fight bandits. Yeah, there's, there's a bandit stronghold here. Oh, they're, they're, they're magic users. I don't want to... What is this deer doing? He's traveling way too far for me to catch him. Oh, is there another, another deer I can hunt? He's just getting too far away. They just don't stop running once you give chase to them. Oh, there he is over there. I see him now. Okay. Gonna have to be very, very careful here. Oh, there's one running there. If I can sneak attack this fellow here. There we are. One more hit. No. Got him. Yes, got him. Right, right when he's running away. Brilliant. Fantastic. Oh, and there are more giants and mammoths here. Right, well, I finally got one deer anyway. That was a quite hellish to get, actually. I wonder if we have the carry weight to be able to pick this fellow up and take him with us. Right, let's see if we can pick this deer up. We can, and we have enough carry weight. How much carry weight have we got left? Oh, we're just on the brink, actually. So we really can't pick anything else up. In that case, we should head to Whiterun then and kind of carve him up in the streets of Whiterun, I guess. Away from the wilds, because I don't know what will attack me if I spend the time carving this uh, carcass up in the... Oh, who are these? Oh, it's the revelers. Look. Oh, look, there's more tundra cotton as well. Always good. There are some revelers here. Hello, good sirs. Hey, friend. I would Go love on. to. Cheers, my Thank friend. you, friend. Oh, I've got a bottle of free hunting brew mead there. I can sell that. Or I could always... Oh, what was that? I heard a wolf just die there. Oh, it was a mud crab. A mud crab just killed the wolf. <laughs> Oh my, thistle, let's grab that. Right, we should head to Whiterun to begin selling our goods then. And we're going to try and avoid these mammoths here. We don't really want anything to do with them. Although, I will want to hunt a mammoth at some point. But right now, I'm kind of just hunting a deer at a time. Maybe once I get some stronger arrows, I will hunt a mammoth. But then again, I don't want to tussle with the the giants uh, protecting their mammoths. Because look, they just killed a saber cat there. I'll, I'll, step, I'll step aside. You know what? I'll steal some mammoth cheese while I'm here. Yoink. Yoink. There we are. That's, that's gross. The, <laughs> the mammoth cheese makes such a gross sound. It's disgusting. But we'll leave them alone now. We are, we're a measly hunter. We want nothing to do with giants. And there's Whiterun. There's where we're heading this episode. We're ready to sell some of our goods. Also, I seem to be dropping a lot of frames around the plains area. I don't quite know why, but everything's kind of popping in, and I'm, I, I lose a lot of frames. So maybe I'll stay away from the plains area for now. I don't know if I've just got too many mods going, and it's just ruining my game, but not a fan of the frame drops. But we're at white run now, so I say we head on inside. Oh, are these guards going to let me through? They're going to let me through. Let's go inside. And here we are. Good old white run. It's still very gloomy today. What's going on? I'm looking for some sunlight, you know. It's, uh, you know, I don't think I've, I don't think it's been sunny in this series yet. I know we've only done two episodes, but anyway. Oh, there we are. The sun's kind of coming out a bit, but it's still kind of gloomy-ish. 
Right. Oh, yes. Nice and warm. Oh, here's what we want. The, we want the tanning rack. Let's see what we can make. Cleaned pelt. Let's make that. Let's make some leather. Because we want to make some more leather pouches. Let's make some leather strips. And you know what? Let's make some more leather. And we can make a, a tent now. But I actually want to make that a uh, traveler's tent. Where is it? There we are. Traveler's tent. It requires six leather. Oh, okay. I've only got three leather. I need to make more. There we are. I should be able to make the traveler's tent now. Because I'm so curious about what this is. Oh, it'll be back at the top now that I've made it. Traveler's tent. Do you know what? Let's actually carve up the, the deer before we do that. I'm sure... Oh, okay, now it's sunny. Now it's nice and sunny. Look at this. The sun's come out. Why was it so gloomy in the morning? Alright, we need to find a good spot. I wonder if... You know what? They'll probably let us carve up the, the deer over here, right? This is kind of out of the way, I guess. I don't want to get in anyone's way. Do you know what? In the stream here would be a good place to carve up the the deer because then we can kind of wash away all the bad bits. Seems like it's a, a good idea. Oh, we've also got the hair carcass still as well. So let's drop the deer carcass. There we are, right into the stream. And then we just field dress this, this little dude. There we are. Oh, I am now thirsty. This isn't, this isn't good. Alright, let's just continue then. Skin pelt first. See if I can get myself a hunting knife at some point so I can skin these pelts a bit better because I'm, I'm only getting ruined pelts right now, which isn't the best. And then let's harvest ingredients. Take his antlers and organs and stuff. Ah, oh, there we go. I've learned more experiences from harvesting. I'm improving. Yes, my hunter instincts are improving. Got a large animal bone, large antlers. And now all that's left is to butcher the meat, which of course we will be selling. 25 venison. Let's get rid of the body. There we are. Oh, it's getting later now. We were doing... We spent a lot of time butchering that carcass. It's now getting very late. It's, yeah, it's 6 p.m. I'm also very bloody from the thing, so let's wash that off. Come on, there we are there. We're washing it off. Oh, I wonder if I can actually drink from this stream here, if it's fresh enough water, or will I catch a disease from it? It's running water, right? I would think I could, could drink it. This is probably where White Run gets their water from, right? So... Let's try drinking it. I got drink from stream. Let's see if that works. Oh, maybe this isn't. Maybe this is not a big enough body of water. Oh, that's a shame. Can we do it up here, upstream? Do you think? Oh, I guess it's not a big enough body of water. I have to go to a bigger body of water to drink from. But I say we make that traveler's tent then, because I'm very curious about how it holds up compared to the other tent. Yes, let's create the item. It was very costly to make, so I hope it's worthwhile. Traveler's tent. Oh. It's just a sack on the floor. How do I actually use it? Can I use it, please? Oh, no. I think I just wasted all my leather doing that. That's strange, because I can pitch this tent like this, but I can't pitch the traveler's tent for some reason. That's a shame. Oh, well. We can always make more leather from the pelts that we currently have. So I say, before it gets too late, let's sell our ingredients. See if Bellathor's is still open. Is it still open? Yes, it is. Bellathor, my friend. I have goods for sale. I would like to sell to you, my friend, some ingredients. I want to keep the hides and the pelts. I want to keep the firewood. I've got amethyst and stuff. I don't think I need these. Let's sell those to him. Will he buy our meat, or shall I sell those at the... Two, two measly septums, the animal bones. I think I'm better use holding on to those, you know, actually. Right, maybe I should sell all this to the apothecaries. I might get a better price. Will he buy my... I can sell the wolf meat, don't really want that. I'll sell him 20 venison, I want to keep, kind of keep the rest for my food rations. Well, that wasn't too much gold we made there, but... Oh, who's this? Oh, he's just a cigar. Right, let's leave. Right, let's go to the apothecary then and sell our ingredients. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad every shopkeeper has a, a little fire in their house so I can remain nice and warm. Oh, look at me. I'm, I'm well travelled. I look like a, a traveller, don't I? Look at that. This is a very lovely shop as well you have here. It's very cosy. Anyway, let me sell you some stuff. I would like to sell to you the ingredients I have. I have many valuable ingredients, like a bee. Wait, there's only value at one? And uh, oh, the large antlers is only... Only value one. That's that's a shame. But beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I'll keep the flowers. 
Keep my salt pile. My snowberries I'm definitely going to keep so I can make snowberry tea. And I'm going to keep my thistle as well because well, that there's a value at zero anyway. That's a shame. Because I wanted to buy a potion from this woman here of cure disease in case I ever get diseased. But what? That's 243 coin. I guess I have no choice. You know, with realistic needs and diseases, it's very important to have one of those on you at all times. It's very costly though. I've, I've left White Run with less money than I came in with. That's a shame. Let's leave. Oh, no, I could go into the inn and spend the night there, but I have my tent on my back. I wouldn't want to waste my money. The sun's going down now. I suppose we should set up camp somewhere. I doubt they'll let us set up camp in the city walls themselves. So it looks like we're going to have to head out. Let's, uh, let's take this lavender as well. Why not? It's free. Hey, what grows? I will take. So let's uh, let's leave this t it's town for now. Oh, look at this. This is a lovely sunset. Beautiful. Oh, do you know what? Let's test if we can actually drink from the stream now. Because I am very thirsty and hungry. I wonder if I can drink from this stream here. Come on, let me drink from the stream. Let me drink from the stream. Okay, maybe I can drink from here. I'm drenched now. I got drenched being in that stream, but I can't drink from it. Come on, let me drink from this. Does it need to like actually be like a lake or something? Oh, there we are. I am no longer thirsty. Brilliant. And it's a fresh water source as well. Lovely. I'm no longer thirsty. There we are. This is a fresh water source. It runs clean and pure. Delicious. Right. This might be a good place to set up camp, actually. Just here. Right here. I mean, the Khajiits do it, don't they? The Khajiits set up camp there. So uh, I'll leave that place for them. I don't want to take their campsite. So I'll, I'll camp here next to the water, I think. Let the sun set. Uh, get a nice view of the mountains. We're still kind of safe around the guards. Right, in that case, let's do it. Let's make a little campfire. Build campfire. We'll set that right next to the water. Right there is absolutely fine. I need to now chop some wood. There are no trees nearby. Let me just run over to these trees and harvest some wood from them then. Don't mind if I do. Harvest wood. Firewood. There we are. I believe that should be more than enough. Oh look, it's getting very late now. The moon is out. The sun is nearly completely set, so let's quickly get a fire going. Add firewood. There we are. Lovely. Brilliant. And let's lay our tent down. So a bit of an incline, but that's fine. Pitch the tent. Let's lay down our cooking pot. That's a very fine place to lay it. And I think for dinner we should have some rabbits. Because we've got a fresh rabbit in our pocket. Or well, a fresh hair. So we should really think about skinning that hair. Get some meat from it. I am completely warm. Butcher the meat from it. Let's pick up the carcass. Oh, do you want us to leave the ingredients for now? Because I'm getting very hungry. As of right now, I am very hung, currently hungry, not thirsty though, because I drank from the stream. So I think we're just going to make some rabbit to cook up. A rabbit we just skinned. Let's have some baked potatoes as well. Why not? Let's have some of the charred meat we cooked earlier as well. Get our our hunger up. Oh, we've got that mammoth cheese still, just in a bowl. Seared rabbits. Oh, that doesn't do anything for hunger, only stamina. That's a shame. Oh, look, we've got a giant goat's cheese wheel anyway. If we do get very hungry. Eight servings. And uh, let's eat our charred meat. And a green apple to finish it off with. And of course, we drink. We drink some water as well. No longer thirsty. Brilliant. Let's see if we can fill up our water in the stream here as well. Oh, my guy's yawning. I'm getting very tired. I am tired and sober. Right, it's nearly bedtime then once I fill up these water skins. There we are, filled up my water skins. I've got three filled water skins now. And I believe it's bedtime. So let's sleep. There we are, lying down in our tent. There we are, look at that, lovely. Oh, I'm kind of glitching into my bedroll there, but I'm nice and cosy and wrapped up. I'll say that. Let's sleep then. I'll say, you know, we'll sleep until half six. That's reasonable. A nice early start for us. And I'm only hungry and slightly thirsty, and I am rested, so... There we are, got my shoes off. Oh, brilliant, our fire's burnt down. Ah, oh, yes, let's get up. There we are, put all of our stuff back on. Brilliant. Oh, that was very, that's a very successful day of hunting. This is a great kind of existence for this character. I do like living as a hunter. It's very chillaxed. I think I'll uh, destroy all this, pack it all up. There we are, packed up the tents. Got the rabbit carcass there. Do you know what? Let's just dispose of that for now. I don't really want to harvest its ingredients. 
Brilliant. I say we head on back towards Riverwood then. Or I could hunt a mammoth. Do you know what? No, I'll save that for another episode, I think. Hunting a mammoth. I'm going to need more arrows for that. I'm going to need a lot of arrows for that, actually. More than I currently have. And yeah, I think I'll go back to, towards a Riverwood way. I'd rather head further this way than further that way. And uh, Whiterun has fully rendered in now. We had a bit of a trouble at the start there with clipping issues and things popping in and frames dropping and stuff. But it should be all good now. Still quite early morning. We're the only ones really up with the guards. All the workers are still probably in bed. Brilliant. Oh, this is lovely. See, it's not so gloomy anymore. It's, it's actually nice looking. Brilliant. This is fantastic. Oh, there's floating shields in the air. That's not good. Oh. Oh. Come on, let's scale this little hillside. Come on, you can do it, Hunter. You can do it. There we are. We'll come back to Whiterun someday, I'm sure. It's a, it's a good trade spot for us. I'm going to actually see if my nook... Oh, it's, it's raining. Quickly, to the nook. Where's, where did I... Oh, no, where's the nook? I think it's back over this way. Don't want to get too drenched. Although, I'm sure I'll get clean and warm in Riverwood. I was going to hunt that deer then, but then I realised I've probably got quite enough. Oh, who is that? Who is that on the road there? He looks like an interesting fellow. Who are you, good sir? Are you okay? Are you finished ogling the grotesque? Afflicted refugee. Oh my, you look sick, my friend. I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to leave you be. I don't, don't want whatever you have. But we'll pick those mushrooms. Very nice. So yeah, let's head back to Riverwood. Honestly, I I have no real aims for this series. I'm kind of just making it up as I go along, enjoying the chilled experience of being a hunter. I think, though, next episode, I'm going to want to head north. Basically, I want to head to the hot springs to the south of Winterhold. Not Winterhold, sorry. Windhelm, that's the one, Windhelm. They have so many similar names of all the towns in Skyrim. But the hot, the hot springs in... Oh, look, there's a dead rabbit here. Let's pick it up. Yeah, I kind of want to head to the hot springs to the south of... Oh, no. I'm getting too distracted. Who is this now? It's a cloaked figure mining clay, by the looks of it. Well, we'll leave him be. I don't think he's hurting anyone. For the last time, I will say my goal is to head to the to this hot springs outside Windhelm because there's plenty of game there and it's nice and warm and it will be a nice shelter for winter. But for now, we're kind of hanging around Riverwood still a bit. I wonder if I can take this salmon or is it stealing? I don't think I can take it. That's a shame. Oh, no, I can. Harvest salmon. There we are. Brilliant. Some free salmon. I'll take it. Or oh, maybe we should head into the inn, get nice and toasty. Yeah, let's head on inside the inn. There we are. Let's get nice and warm by the fire. There we are. Lovely. Ah, oh, yes. Do you know what? I think this is a great place to end this episode. We didn't do much this episode. We just did a, a light bit of hunting and some gathering. But in the next episode, I think it's going to be our first trek. I think we're going to head to Windhelm. We're going to head north going to load up everything we have on our back, we're going to be camping out in the wilds, and we're going to make for the hot springs. But for now, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, my friends. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like, and if you do want to see more, consider subscribing. Your viewership is always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.